Nobody can manage time. Time is. But you can manage what you do in it. And for a new person, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. So I want you to understand, this business is built to support part-time people. That's what it's built for. The support systems to help a part-time person do their thing. Because most people aren't willing to walk away from a job or a career or whatever and sacrifice their whole family to start their business. I did. It worked out, thank God. But for most people, the vast majority of people are part-time folks looking to start a business and flex their entrepreneurial muscle. So this business is built on that. It's built to support part-time people. Some of my best advice is don't treat this like a business. Those of you who just joined, don't treat this like a business. Treat this like a job. You can take days off of a business, but if you have a job, you don't take days off of a job. Treat it like a job. Decide how many hours you're going to work a week. Decide. Whatever that's going to be for you. Ten hours? Five hours? A lot of people do tens. Some do twenties. I didn't ask how many hours a week you're going to study. I asked how many hours a week you're going to work. Studies in addition to work. Want to read GoPro? Read that in addition to work. Want to watch Rise, the Rise of the Entrepreneur? Watch that in addition to work. You're going to go through this course? Watch, you, can, you, you can sit around forever and count these in your hours, but you're not going to move very fast. This is in addition to. Okay? Treat this like a job. Decide how many hours you're going to work. And then next, decide what hours you're going to work. And this will be a little bit of a moving target. Because most people, this is the biggest step to starting in, uh, off. And you're opening a business and you're going to have hours. And most people in network marketing don't do that. And because of that, most pe- those people don't succeed in the same way that other people do. There's two kinds of people, three kinds really. People who just say, well, I'm just going to do it whenever I have time. And we can guess their income. Then there's a second group which I do it 24 hours a day. It's all I think about. It's all I breathe, and it's all I, it's all I do. And shouldn't we be talking to somebody right now? You know, those people? <laughs> they feel a little guilty being in this training. <clears throat> that second group. And then there's a third group who treat this professionally and decide what hours they're go- how many hours they're going to work and what those hours are going to be. Okay, so if it's 10 hours a week, it could be two hours, um, two nights a week and six hours on a Saturday or a Sunday, whichever day, you know, it, it works better for your, your spiritual beliefs or whatever that is. It might be three nights at, you know, two nights at three hours and one night at, at four hours, whatever that's going to be. They might not be able to do anything during the week, but they can do 10 hours on a Saturday. Okay. Whatever it's going to be, make that decision and do everything in your power to make that sacred. Here's what most people do. Their work hours are sacred. Then comes family hours. Then comes their dream. Dreams always last. And it's always movable. Something else shows up, they move their work hours. Something else shows up, oh, I'll catch up tomorrow. Something else shows up, oh, I'll do it later. Right? That's what happens. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. This will separate. This is one of those small things that will separate you from the rest of the world. Make make the world revolve around those hours instead of those hours revolve around the world. Make those hours sacred. Tell your family, tell everybody else, these are the hours I'm going to work, and hold yourself accountable to it. Now understand, as you start, you might have these great intentions and you realize, oh, that doesn't work because I forgot I have to 
take the kids to school and I was going to do that breakfast meeting, that doesn't work, and or, I, or that doesn't work, or this doesn't work, or there's Little League Baseball and that doesn't work that night. And that's fine. But adjust and then make those sacred and then adjust and then make those sacred until you have a sacred calendar, whatever that calendar is going to be. Got it? Really important. If I'm working with you, you're going to have to show me your calendar. <clears throat> Don't tell me a story. Show me your calendar. Don't tell me about your hopes and dreams. Show me your calendar. I want to see your calendar. Where are your hours? What are the hours you're, you're planning on working? Because then I know if you're serious or not. If you don't have that, I'm going to work with you on it, and let's, let's map that out. If it's 20 hours, that's fine. <clears throat> the next, fill that work time with premium tasks. Fill that work time with A-level activity. Fill that work time with premium tasks. What does that mean? Inviting people to take a look at your product or opportunity. Presenting to prospects about your product or opportunity. Following up with those prospects about your product or opportunity. Getting those people started, spending time getting those people started, sitting down with them, helping them get started. Working with your team to do presentations where maybe two of you go sit down and have coffee with somebody, spend time doing that. But primary activity. This activity is so, you're getting paid so much money for every hour that you do in this activity, you'll be amazed. Now, some people get really stressed out when it comes to time because, first of all, they didn't have a lot of time when they joined, and they're like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, let me give you one thing that really works really, really well, and it'll work well for you. Don't think in hours. Think in 15-minute blocks. Some people, you know, like... How many people have kids at home? So ladies especially, because they do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to, to child raising, not, not in every case, but in a lot of cases. It's hard for you when you're raising a family and doing work and doing a job and doing everything else, trying to have some time for yourself. It's hard to say there's two hours. I'm going to just spend two hours. You're like, two hours. When was the last time I had two hours? It's like two years ago. <laughs> two hours, you nuts. But here's what you can do. You can put the kids in the bath, have the spouse watch them, and go take a 15 minutes. Take 15 minutes, go make some calls. Take 15 minutes, follow up. Take 15 minutes, go do a little presentation. Take 15 minutes, right? Call somebody in your team. You can have the kids do their homework and go take two 15-minute blocks for 30 minutes and go do some stuff, right? So you might not have three hours, but you can take 15 minutes could be in your commute. Instead of having to know the lyrics to every song on the radio, <laughs> maybe you could get in the car with the intention that I, before I get out of this car, I'm talking to these three people. 